Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. We are back again with another reaction. And uh, this time we're going to be reacting to William Last, a song titled Help. Shout out to Tato, Ronald, Oli Dile. Um, he asked me to react to the song and uh, we're going to get into it, you know. But before we do that, guys, you know what to do for your boy. You know, firstly, you need to hit the like if you like this reaction. If you like what's going on up in here, hit me with that like. Smash the sub so you can be a part of the family because we need the family to grow, you know. And of course, I need your comment. Last but certainly not least, guys, sharing is indeed caring for your boy. So uh, we're going to get straight into it. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's go. That's how I LSD talk. Thank you for sharing. Okay. So far, this looks like an AA meeting. Um, fella, fella. Yeah. I just read the Bible. Okay. Too sad, but I'm still suicidal. Yeah. The life I live in is so stable. But the way I'm making everybody to believe that I got this. Yeah. Okay, that's a fair point right there. Because that's the thing, man. I mean, when you're hearing people talking out there and, and, and like from our perspective anyway, like when we're watching it, we're thinking like, OK, this guy is actually he's guy made, man. He's he's famous. Everybody knows him. He makes people laugh. Very funny character. But we don't know behind the scenes, behind the camera, what goes on, you know, people's lives when they go through whatever they go through you know so now i'm not sure if that's him or if this is just a, a song that's just about people who need help you know so let's find out more I'm guessing all these people bite the hot when i'm sad when i'm happy go to kitty daddy they be yet they like they love me they be thinking that they know me if you know can you take a lemon on that yeah i hear if you know your dude, if you know your bro, man, if you know your bruv, you need to check on and make sure they are all righty, you know what I mean? Let's go. These people say I'm gonna die. What? But the fact is we all gonna die. It's about how we look at it. People keep pushing me. The reason why I'm crazy is how people treat me. By the will, I'm not a criminal. Just like your brother went to prison, it's like an animal. Yeah, mm. shut up, I'm just trying to be a father. I feel suicidal every time I get emotional. Well, man, that's deep, man. That's deep. That's deep. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, man, we all struggle. We're trying to make ends meet. You know, we got children to look after. You know, we got families to look after. And, you know, the one thing we do not want is outside negativity. You know, that's just so not on right now, man. Agree with William on this one. Let's go. I've been trying to fight with my demons. Okay. Trying to fuck with my demons. Yeah, I need help. Every time I get like all these people talk I can nah. If you my number one fan, I will say this though, you know, one thing I appreciate with this guy, especially when um like how he promotes his music, because I remember when the picture uh came out on Instagram uh with him and those marks on his back and obviously titled help and naturally you know when you see such things and you see such captions you think to yourself okay something's going on what's going on what's wrong with william you know that sort of thing so naturally okay to be fair i, I do not I, I don't know if if this is like him really crying out or if this is just him sending a message out there for people to know you know about what goes on you know in in, in the modern world you know but anyway, let's just carry on, let's carry on, let's unravel this thing. What's a Magwimba? Oh. Everything I do is unpredictable. When I drop the sound, fan base got emotional. Fella, tell me sometimes you gotta get physical, but every time I get a pin is only gets critical. Fire, man, fire. I like it. He's just sitting there, you know, writing down the words, you know. Pretty, I, th I think pretty much that's probably how, like, he sits down and creates his material and stuff, you know, with your light there on the side and stuff 
but you know it's it's, it's really cool you know this song is kind of giving me the vibes to that song i, I reacted to before uh, how it feels check it out on the link it's right there and you know, I, I, like it was really sad because that's like I, that's where i got to see a different side of william uh in, in as opposed to him just being that funny guy bringing joy and happiness to everyone I got to understand him in a different light and this is kind of like the same thing again you know and and i'm still got that question i still got that question that if, if he's him crying out or if he's just sending a message to people out there to understand something about what people go through in life let's go I feel suicidal every time I get emotional. Mm. Yeah, I've been trying to fight with my demons. Okay. Yeah, help. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to fight with my demons. Now that's not right. Yeah, I need help. Yeah, I've been feeling sad when I think about my mom. I've been feeling sad when I think about my family Show sure, no remorse, yeah Proof I came in for All the voices that I hear I'ma kill them from the core what? I do it for Amara, may the Lord keep us safe The way I'm moving quick I can never run a maze, yeah I love that about him How he cherishes his child His little girl, you know Um, I mean, that's how I feel with my little girl, man I am so protective over her I do not want anything to harm her you know not while i'm around you know what i'm saying and you know these are kind of kinds of these are the kind of fathers that we want you know and and these are the fathers we want to stick around for their children because you know this world is really harsh you know it really is really tough so you need that kind of uh love affection protection from your parents so shout out to you william on this one Oh, I gotta take this back, man. I gotta take Every this day back. I woke up in the morning, I'm just hoping and I'm praying hey, it's gonna be alright. By the wheel, I'm not a criminal. Just like your brother wants you prison like an anima. Yeah, shut up, I'm just trying to be a father. Oh, look at the scene right there, man. Look at that. Just look at the joy in her eyes when she's looking at him. Like, everything is alright, like he says. I mean, he's hoping that everything's gonna be alright, but with her, everything is alright. You know, everything is just a okay. And this is a classic scene right here, man. Father, daughter, having a moment, something that you kind of rarely see in this day and age but i mean you do see it but then like for me like yeah this is a special moment and i love it let's go i feel suicidal every time i get emotional yeah i've been trying to fight with my demons yeah hell, yeah yeah i've been trying to fight with my demons yeah i need help I've been trying to fuck with my I just realized right now um because I mean just after that picture that like we looked at with him and his daughter and the thought that from his daughter's perspective this guy is her superhero he's everything to her you know she she's happy you know she couldn't ask for anything else and yet she does not have a clue what him as a parent is going through you know to make that day special for her she doesn't know that he's got suicidal thoughts she doesn't know that he goes through certain things in life bullying uh, negative um, uh, commentary and and all that she doesn't know that and 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 you know when it hits you hard as a child is when your parent has given up on life and 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 you get to know these things because 
you never knew that before and now that you get to know it and it's like oh my word why you know you got all these questions and you know that's the one thing we need to be careful of as parents that you know what we leave behind our children what they go through when you're gone when life carries on because it's not gonna wait just because you're gone you know life just carries on and if it's gonna be harsh it's gonna carry on being harsh you know so yeah shout out to him let's go it means i need help yeah i've been trying to fuck with my demons i need help is this the end william Oh, How perhaps you? not. You good and yourself? Ah, I'm not so bad. Good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, tell me, what's going through your mind right now? What is? You know, to be honest, this is one of the things that I never quite understand, because uh, I've never done it before. You know, um, going to a psychiatrist, going for some kind of therapy, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's just something I just don't know if it really helps because I mean, at the end of the day, when you got trouble, when you do, when you got issues and you want to talk to someone, the last thing personally I would want is someone sitting down with a notebook and a pen, writing down every single time I say something because I feel like I'm a case study uh, as opposed to this person listening to me and hearing me out. So in this case, I'm not for that. You know, I, I would rather you sit down with me and we have proper conversation. Let's talk. Let's hear each other out. Share your points, share your opinions, hear me out. Let me vent. But notebook and pen for me is like you're not in the scene you're out of it you're just sitting on the couch and watching me on the telly you know let's go well i feel lost I feel hungry i feel light helpless okay Sorry. Like every time when I come here and I talk about my problems, at that time it, it feels good to talk about my problems. The minute I step out of that door, it's back to zero. It's like the more I talk about my problems, the more I make them worse. I kind of get what he means by that. Like when you talk about them, it kind of feels like they get, you're making it worse because it's like when you're now sitting down and, and, and talking about them your focus is now on the problem you know it's like now you're magnifying it like you you're making it the the your concern the the center of everything else you know and and yeah it kind of I, I can understand i can get that when when he says it kind of feels like it's worse because you're now literally facing the problem but i mean Depending on who of it, uh, whoever is, is, is going through whatever. I mean, for some people, just having to talk about it does kind of help. And engaging with other people, hearing their point of view, their insights also helps them see something that they otherwise would not have seen had they not talked about it. You know? But yeah, let's go. People, people always say it's going to be okay. Have hope, pray, meditate, same advice over and over again. Yeah, well, I have still, a kid. We got nothing else to say. I mean, what do you say when someone's going Thank through something? November. As much as all my sons, I always say, I want to see her get old, you know, reach her goals while I'm by her side, her getting married and having kids. I don't think I'm going to make it that far. Nah, hmm. man, William. Nah, you are going to make it. I know it sounds cliche, man, but look, in my opinion, life is for living. Life is not just supposed to be just that perfect world. No, it's just for you to live. That's it. Just live. Live. We'll see what happens tomorrow, but just live. I don't think I want to make it that far. What do you mean by that? Are you having suicidal thoughts? 
William, like do duh. You think these sessions are not working for you. I don't know. Okay, let's change it up a bit. Let's talk about work. Um, how is work? Is the money coming in? Let's change it up a bit. Let's talk about work. Um, how is work? Is the money coming in? Money doesn't make me happy. Fact. I don't care about money. Money just gives me a bad power of me wanting to buy pills to speak my mind. What do you mean by that? Are you referring to drugs? Yeah, I'm talking about drugs. You taking any drugs? It's so not gonna tell you. I'm gonna ask. Yeah. It's not gonna tell you. The last time you were here. You talk about quite a lot of issues. No, on TV, issues, anyway. Issues money issues. And you know, you'd express uh, worrying about not being able to provide for your family, your extended family. How is that pressure making you feel? It's, it's not pressure if it's my responsibility. Everything is here on my shoulders. You know, every, every time, from time to time, when I get suicidal, it's always that small life. Think about my daughter, Amara. She went That's it? without her father. She needs her father. That's Think it? about my mom. I promised I'm going to get her a house. Big ass farm. Get her to retire. She needs her son. Think about my father. Think That's the thing with um, being African, you know. Um, we go through so much because like when we when we somehow get out of it and and we kind of doing a little better than we probably would have been back home um you got these expectancies like from parents from relatives you know what we call black tax because you are expected to help out you're expected to provide because you are doing better than them you know and i'm always I'm, I'm kind of of that notion where for you to be a blessing to others you first need to fill up your cup and what spills out of the cup is what now becomes a blessing to others because when you can't even fill up your cup you cannot ex uh, expect to bless someone else when you're struggling yourself. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I hope you get me. Let's go. I still have to meet up with the dude and reconcile whatever issues we have. Think about my siblings. They need me. As much as they, they don't say it, they need me. It's kind of almost the same in every family, especially with us boys. We kind of almost always have issues with our fathers <laughs> i don't know why that's the case i think because of our fathers coming from a strict background and they just want to carry on the tradition or whatever which needs to stop let's go i, I just need i need what do you i don't know no. William, I'm going to ask you this. I asked you this question the last time and it got you a bit annoyed, a bit angry. But I'm going to try and ask you again. What is bothering you? Mm. I don't know. Why don't you? You are the therapist. You're supposed to be the one to tell me. Well, what. he done made him angry again. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to know. That's why you're getting the buck. Let's go. What's the matter? What's what? Do your job, man. You need to m make me to stop having suicidal thoughts. It's your job. I don't know how you can make it stop. You need to make it stop ASAP. Please. William, I want to help. Yes, do your job. That's mm. that's what you get paid to do. Do your job. But how do I help you? How does he do his job when he's got a pen and a notebook? Okay. That's just my opinion. Get rid of that book. Listen attentively. Find the loopholes. 
That's all I'm gonna say. When I don't know what the matter is. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just need to write more. Maybe I need to write more. Mm. I agree. I agree. I'm going to read this first and I'm going to tell you why I agree, man. Uh, it says, Dumela Bomalume, it's me, Bufelo. Is that his real name? I just wanted to let you both know that I've been looking after myself. I'm okay. I know you're always watching over me, protecting and showing me the right way. Your fleshes may not be here, but your spirit lives inside of me. I promise. Our family legacy will live on till we meet again. It's quite touching, man. It's really inspiring right there. And um, I feel like, you know what? He's got a point. You can't really figure it out. Just keep writing. Write your feelings down. And, and who knows? Somewhere through that pen and paper, you're going to figure something out, you know? But I will tell you something about life, you know, life doesn't come with solutions. But the best you can do is live through it because life itself is a gift. Not everyone gets that opportunity or the privilege and it's unfair to give up that privilege when someone else needed it and they didn't get it, you know. Let's just live because life in itself is a gift. What I've realized is that every single problem I've faced, I've not necessarily solved it, but I just went to bed, woke up the next day, lived through it, went to bed, woke up the next day, lived through it. The next thing I know that problem is gone and there's a new problem, you know? And for me, it just told me that life it's just a life full of challenges. You're not going to solve one thing and that's just going to be the end. There's going to be something else that comes up, more problems, more issues. And But when you live through it, you'd be surprised to find that you've overcome it. Sometimes you don't even notice it because there's other things that just come and 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 you've got another problem and that one is just is behind you you know so my advice is just live just live go to sleep wake up the next day deal with it go to sleep wake up the next day deal with it but just live before you know it it's gone you're dealing with something else just carry on Just keep writing, just keep swimming, just keep writing, that's a fact. Gotta be honest, quite a touching video, fact, uh, it, it brought some insight to what people go through behind the scenes fact it's made me aware of how we should always look after the people around us the people we love the people we care about fact so let's not forget that we all go through stuff in life and sometimes it takes you just calling calling in like you pitch up you you just find out how that person's doing you know just having that conversation you know in in a, in a way helps people cope through struggles and whatever it is that they go through but we gotta live man i'm gonna say man this video for me is quite inspirational it's touching and and i hope that it's not anything to do with real events as in him crying out 
because we've lost too many artists already man look at ricky rick look at uh, double hp you know and and then there's various more artists and people who are not famous who have just given up on life itself and that's not right because when you're gone they there's people that remain there's people that go through a whole lot of pain and stress having to deal with your funerals having to try and figure out why you did what you did when you have children who are going to be asking themselves how would you do that and not think about me how would you consider ending your life without thinking about what will happen to me afterwards because you cannot trust your friends relatives to look after your children because quite frankly they're not that's just not going to happen you know so you've got to look after yourself and you got to look after those that are close to you those that you love because they need you they need you they need you to understand that life is tough but live through it just live you know anyway guys i know i've said a lot on this reaction and i hope i did not take too much time um from you guys i appreciate it if you stayed this long check out the song in itself check out the original video guys show him love show him all the support he needs and uh if ever william ever watches my reaction i'm like my guy i respect you i appreciate you i love every bit of your content and uh, continue to inspire people not just me and every other person because believe it or not what you do inspires someone else you're causing a chain reaction a positive chain reaction and keep it up anyway guys thank you for watching i will check you out on the next reaction because i do have a couple more um shout out to tato as well thank you i will check out on another one so i'm um, signing off peace